looking to buy an ultra modern masterpiece in Stain City? Good afternoon, this is Xavier with Luxury Homes Johannesburg. Today, we are in front of a stunning home, which we're about to tour together with listing agent Marusha from Luxlive Property Group. As always, before we get started, specs on the house. This is a five bedroom, five and a half bathroom, four garage home. Now, guys, you're in for a treat because this is a stunner, stunner, stunner. Marusha. Such a gorgeous house and it is so exciting to be able to feature a home such as this that is also priced beautifully. So this house is not gonna stay on the market for long. The owners have priced it to go, but let's start showcasing the beauty of the home. So we're standing in front of the house, super wide staircase. What I love here is that we have these very deep and very wide stairs. So imagine placing maybe some statues, some artwork or some feature uh, pot plants here. And we've got strip lights running the entire length of these massive steps just to highlight the steps and also showcase the home at night. I'm standing now literally at the entrance, massive overhang here. So if you have your guests and they're just taking their time to climb up, they can stop if it's raining maybe, but also standing where I stand, if you turn around, you can see how the architect has thought of absolutely everything here. You've got that entrance and you've got that frame at the bottom of it that frames some of the trees and uh, just shows you how big your garden space is. There's also a big water feature right next to the entrance. So you're welcoming your guests with light, you're welcoming them with beautiful architecture and with the sound of water. Very feng shui, apparently. I've now stepped into the entrance hall and we are greeted by this absolutely stunning statue. And it's just a taste of what you can get and what you can display in your house. And there's also feature wallpaper uh, on two of the walls here, again, just to highlight uh, this very airy, very light ballerina. And from there, that feeling of lightness is accentuated by the double volume living room. This is a formal lounge, massive lounge space, and also super high ceilings, double volume, all of it surrounded by glass as well. So that feeling of lightness that I mentioned with the ballerina, we have it with all the glass, we have it with the glass balustrades, a touch of steel, and with the chandelier, I'll point out a few more, but here is that feature chandelier just above us in the, this uh, formal lounge area. It just feels like the globes are floating on air. I also wanna point out there's quite a few gas fireplaces throughout the space, so it warms it up very nicely and the house is also off-grid. It's got solar power throughout the space, so low on electricity bills, which we don't really care about so much as much as we care about the load shedding. So, stunning space. What they've done also is they've done this very nice flow from the formal lounge into a formal dining room space, as well as I call this a formal kitchen because this is the showy side of your kitchen. So if you have a lot of guests, cocktail parties, big families, big parties, everyone can just walk around from the lounge into the dining room and you just don't have any need to worry about the number of people here. You can have a big party. Big dining room table. It's currently set up for eight, but easily 10 to 12 seater. Stunning sparkly chandelier just above. You see that it's got a, again a metal and a bit of a Swarovski crystal feel about it. And then from there we step towards the kitchen, which is, I say the formal kitchen because we do have a chef's kitchen just around the corner. Built-in um, ovens as well as a coffee machine, massive countertop. And this is kitchen studios kitchen, so top quality, matte finishes with a very light gray effect. And then here we've got a two-tone countertop. Very nicely done. It gives it some drama and uh, you know a sense of interest. And also the dark one is um, elevated, 
you have the seating across, and then you've got the lower one where you can prepare your tapas, or I always say cookies, because I love cookies so much. A ton of cupboard space, and then this custom-made sink, it's made out of the same countertop Caesar stone material that we see throughout. And then here is where the actual um, cooking and catering can take place. So there's a gas stove, plus two more ovens and a warmer drawer, and of course an extractor fan. A ton of more countertops here, and there is a big pantry literally at the bottom there, so you can store even more stuff. And I challenge you with the number of drawers and cupboards that we have, I challenge you to run out of space. Then it, it will be very interesting. The door there leads to four garages and the garages are extra height as well. So for those houses that need a ton of storage, that extra volume in the garages gives you that space. Plus, of course, it houses the batteries and the setup for the solar. This Double doors swing open into the downstairs TV room. Very luxuriously designed room. Another really stunning choice of wallpaper just behind. And uh, even a bit of a 3D effect with that wood panel at the end here. And this is a very nice uh, panel that I would imagine absorbs some of the sound as well. And we also have the lowered ceiling, plus we have the double blind setup here so it's um, blackout blinds so this room becomes a very cozy cinema style room and we have a fireplace here as well and all the fireplaces have a similar style with um, the stone effect we'll see another one outside in the darker color but all of them different shades of stone beautifully designed of course the whole house has blinds and all the blinds stay what I like also is that they've done sliding doors. So they're not folding doors. With folding doors, there's always a bit of a, you know, challenge, opening, closing. Here they slide open and it is absolute perfection. We've now stepped out onto the patio area, massive patio area, very deep as well. And there is also an overhang just above there, which ensures that if it's a strong wind or maybe rain, it doesn't get wet much further inside the patio. So you can put your soft furniture here. Uh, we have storage, we have a sink here, and we have space for a pizza oven and a gas braai. So they've thought of everything. And it is deep enough, we can easily add also soft furniture here. And right behind you is the pool. I wanna take a guess here, I think it's a 10 by five meter and uh, a great feature first of all this is a north facing house so you are getting a beautiful sun throughout the day right on top of your pool so it will warm up very nicely we are also on a green belt so right in front of me is the entire length of the, uh, the pretty much invisible fence here is green belt and there's already very well established indigenous trees along the entire fence so really great privacy for the house as well as for one of the bedrooms that is uh, situated right across here. And just before we head for the bedrooms, I just want to point out that outdoor BOMA area, it's a gas BOMA, so very low maintenance and uh, very easy to just pull out your chairs, sit around, and this one is in the dark granite. So again, the light granites inside, the dark granites outside. And just standing up to look at the architecture of this house, very clean lines, very, um, uh, it, it's actually a um, very modern contemporary house, but it doesn't give you this industrial feel where some modern houses do. It gives you a very homely feeling as well. The entire design is also about low maintenance. So tiled floors throughout the house and in the bedrooms there's vinyl floors so again super low maintenance super easy to clean and um, the rest of the space with the blinds again all the blinds remain but again easy maintenance with that as well so you literally just need to feature your own unique furniture and your own artwork and you make this home your own
We've now walked past the staircase and we'll have a look upstairs shortly, but let's quickly step to the right of the staircase into the study area. Every single room in this house is really generous. So they've utilized the space very well. The rooms are huge in size. This study can easily comfortably house at least three or four people. The, this stage is set up for two built-in wood and white cabinetry. And they've done a touch of the uh, tinted glass cabinetry as well to add this feeling of luxuriousness to the space. Is that a word even? And we have this massive window looking out onto the front garden. And again, it shows you how the architects has thought of everything because from here you can actually see your visitors. So being a study, you want to see if someone's coming to visit. But also the moment you open the window, you can hear the sound of water from your water fountain, literally outside. And now to the right of the staircase, as we enter the home, we are entering the two bedrooms downstairs. So first of all, I want to point out, it's a floating staircase, but you do have the space which you can easily use as a, a wine cellar, I would suggest. And then we step immediately into the fifth bedroom. So they in total five, uh, five bedrooms, full on suite, two of them are downstairs, which is really great. And each bedroom is very uniquely designed and finished. Another really nice wallpaper effect. This one uh, almost has like a textured effect with the gold. And that's again, luxury top end. And what's nice about this bedroom is it has its own entrance. So you could literally from the street, from the front garden, step into that bedroom. Every teenager's dream. En suite, all of the bedrooms have uh, their own bathrooms. And once again, they are uniquely finished. So slightly different look and feel from each other, um, making it very unique, but they all also flow very beautifully. One of the most beautiful guest toilets, it really is, uh, is a stunner with the choice of very dark um, uh, marble looking tile, as well as a very unique tap that they've chosen for the basin. And um, another thoughtful element of the home is that there is a door right next to that toilet and this door leads you into the pool area. So from the pool, straight into the toilet, no water, wet feet to the house. We've now stepped into the uh, second bedroom downstairs or the fifth bedroom overall. Massive bedroom, another stunning choice of wallpaper. I absolutely love it in every single room. I want to say it's my favorite one, but each one is my favorite. So very hard to decide. Like your children. <laughs> And uh, again, we've got those sliding doors. So no flatting doors in the wind. We've got blockout blinds here. So thinking of teenagers, you know, they sleep until lunchtime. So crucial element again, and another full bathroom en suite. And this bedroom is so big. Even the bathroom, they've made it with two uh, basins because they've envisioned to use it as a main bedroom, potentially. So walking now back towards the entrance hall and just to take a step on the staircase and take it all in. Extremely high ceilings. The ceiling above the staircase is almost as high as the double volume above uh, the lounge area. You've got this big wall here next to the windows so you can display really amazing artwork on this wall and you've got these massive floor to ceiling windows that not only give you the views of outside but also give you a ton of sunlight so the feeling of floating air throughout the house the staircase strip lights on every single step so it gives it again beauty drama and make sure you don't trip on the staircase when you're going downstairs quickly for a night snack. 
And what is really great, as you, as you come upstairs, what they've done is they've done this walkway that runs the entire um, square, or at least two sides of it. And uh, what this does really nicely is it gives you an opportunity to enjoy the view and your house is elevated above the houses across the street. So you will always have this view, no matter you know, what house gets built and you get the natural light and you get the north facing element that gives you uh, that perfect climate throughout. And now let's step into the main bedroom first. Very nicely done, it's right next to the landing. And if you just look at the reflection, I just can't, I, I just notice it's such a pretty effect. The reflection of the staircase and the strip lights on the staircase, it almost looks like stair, staircase to heaven. Can you see it? And stepping into the main bedroom, my favorite wallpaper for the upstairs bedrooms <laughs> is a feature wallpaper. And they've done a bulkhead uh, um, slightly lower. The, again, to give it a little bit of drama with uh, the down lights uh, to highlight the bed and where one should retire for the night. Big enough to have uh, lounge suite uh, space as well as a private balcony. I really like the fact that it is a private balcony. I like the fact that you're looking out onto those uh, gorgeous wild olive trees. So they'll be green throughout. And then if you turn around and look out again, the views of the city. Just around the corner is the uh, walk-in boudoir dressing room. Dark colors, I like it. It calms you immediately. You can spend a bit of time here selecting your favorite outfit, enjoying the look of this really stunning chandelier. Plenty of drawers as well for jewelry and for other bits and bobs and some of this tinted glass that we saw also um, uh, downstairs. And now we're stepping into the full ensuite and uh, we have a pre-sending bath with views of the city. I love that with this massive window and a massive shower as well right next to it with a really, really unique tile that they have selected each piece of a piece of um, art in its own right and it all has this glitter metallic effect we have it here as well and it's warm tones of copper so this again warms up the space because we have a lot of grays and a lot of whites and a lot of modern elements so with those warm tones of copper and other metallic elements it just brings in the inviting luxury and now stepping out from the main bedroom and walking down this stunning floating walkway, enjoying the views on both sides and heading towards the other two bedrooms that are upstairs. So three bedrooms in total. Very clever, again, another nice architectural design is that the two bedrooms are coming out of a corridor that's to the side of this double volume. What this means is ensures there's no sound traveling from downstairs into the bedrooms. So as I step into the bedroom, I immediately feel it's actually nice and quiet. So there is no echo from any of the double volume spaces. We have a very high ceiling, but also, again, it's a very subdued, very cozy room. It's got a, a lot of space. We've got a king size bed, full bathroom, a ton of cupboard space here. And again, this bathroom is unique for this specific room. So because this room was designed for a boy, it, you have a little bit more masculine elements here. It's almost like a denim finish to the tile that they've selected for uh, the feature walls. And you also have a very nice textured, almost like a leather finish to your feature wallpaper and it is a darker gray and the rest of the room is lighter gray. And the same as the other bedrooms, vinyl wood looking flooring. And this bedroom together with uh, the adjacent bedroom both share this humongous balcony. So imagine your children here, they can invite all their friends 
and I challenge you to run out of space on your balcony. And really, a lot of cupboard space, even for the kids' bedroom. And now stepping out from the one bedroom into the second bedroom on this wing. And this currently is the girls' bedroom. Very nicely done with feature tile that's also a textured, a wavy finish to the tile. And um, it does have a little bit more of a feminine touch to it. And again, you can see the attention to detail because the tile in the bathroom is carried over the, the textured element and the finish is carried over to the cupboard space here. It's also the soft white, so really beautifully done. What they've also done is they've built this uh, division wall that allows for the bed to be facing your green belt and your garden and to feature as uh, almost like a main bedroom setup. And what they've also done is they've created this additional packing space above. But when I say packing, it's actually more of a display unit where you can put your beautiful art pieces, as well as space for your drums, as well as space for your dressing table or a desk to study and more storage. So again, plenty of storage here. And walking out of those bedrooms, looking at this floating chandelier and uh, turn around and then we've got quite a big linen cupboard here. And now we're stepping into the last room upstairs a massive room, multi-purpose, gym area, study area, a huge pyjama lounge or even a cinema room should you wish to, but I would keep this as a gym, study and family room. Everyone can congregate and find something to do here and then when it gets nice and warm, step outside and look at that view and look at that violet sky. Absolutely stunning. And of course, whilst we're upstairs, we can take a look quickly and see how big the garden is. This is the front garden. So we are on a big stand here, which is um, just under 1,300 square meters. We're in a very central location in Stain City as well. You can walk literally a minute to the city center with coffee shops, to the lagoon that is again a minute away. So there is so much to do in Stain City and you are so well located with this house that it's an absolute no-brainer. You need to buy this house. And I think in December, you probably don't even need to leave because... Absolutely not, because you just need to get your membership at the Lagoon and you can spend every day there and you are better off than being by any seaside. True that. Now, in closing off, let's have another look at the downstairs and obviously outside area, swimming pool, another one here, double volume, look at this guys, what do you think, massive, massive indeed, and how beautiful is also once again this dining room set up, it's very well lit in the night, however, it still gives you this uh, moody effect because of the way the ceilings work and you know, the way everything is designed. Truly and exquisite, I love it. It runs from one lounge into the other, into the other, into the other, and now we're down outside again. And I will probably be spending most of my time here if, I, if this was my house, but absolutely I would invite all my friends and family because the space is all here and it's all designed to enjoy. Marusha, Marusha, Marusha. This truly is an ultra modern masterpiece. You weren't kidding when you introduced it earlier today. Um, whether it be the exquisite, expansive kitchen, dining room area, the double volume lounge, triple volume lounge with the mezzanine on top, the bedroom downstairs, upstairs, the main, the overhangs throughout. I think architecture-wise, this is stunning. I think uh, we're onto something here. Um, I don't think, as you say, this is gonna last very long. So 
as always, if you have any questions or viewing requests, make sure to reach out to Marusha. Her details are below. Guys, thank you so much for your time and have an awesome, awesome afternoon.